Welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Chris Davis, and today we are going to do a review of the PlayStation 5 version of Final Fantasy VII Remake, Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate. So, overall, I really enjoyed this game. It did a lot of things right. The gameplay, the story, the characters, the interaction between the characters, uh, music, soundtrack, all of it was amazing. I really enjoyed playing this game. I didn't play this game as soon as it came out, but I heard amazing things about it. And when I got, when I had the opportunity to play it, I wanted to jump right in and I did. And this game is incredible. Uh, so overall, what it's about is about this group called Avalanche, and they're trying to stop this evil organization, Shinra. Uh, Shinra is an evil corporation uh, because they want to absorb all the planet Mako's energy to fuel their reactors. And let me tell you, Shinra are, are scumbags because um, when you play through this game, you'll see they're willing to sacrifice anything and anyone to accomplish their goals. They're willing to sacrifice the innocent. They're willing to sacrifice their own employees. It's like the organization doesn't have any morals. And um, that's what really makes the story really good. They have, You have a really evil antagonist that the story makes you like hate and you want to stop them. Now, you play as the main character, Cloud Strife. He's a mercenary. And at first, uh, him and uh, Avalanche, uh, there's tension between them, but eventually um, Cloud opens up and he really connects with Avalanche. So with the gameplay, it's live RPG. Um, I like that better than the turn-based RPG. I don't really like turn-based unless it's Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, but I love the live action RPG just to be able to control your character, to dodge and block um, whenever you think is best. Um, I really like that a lot. Now with Cloud, uh, his, um, he has two battle modes with light attack and he has the heavy attack. When you're in heavy attack, um, if you block as soon as someone attacks, you do a parry and that staggers them and then you're able to do more damage. and uh, that's a really good example of why I like live action RPGs. Just being able to control your character um, whenever you want is really good. Now, when you're playing this game, you're not just playing as Cloud, though. Um, when you're doing battles, you can switch in between characters. And this is really good because you're going to have to switch in between characters depending on the battle you're in. So some characters are. Uh, better for support some characters are better for long range so um, characters i really enjoy playing as i enjoy playing as Aerith. honestly like i liked playing as cloud but my next best one i'd have to pick would be um uh, Aerith because she's a great cleric character great support character um if you unlock her ability she can do spells twice which um, uh, I think which if you unlock our ability to where you can do spells twice, um, you can do more spells, but it's not costing you more MP. Another really good character is Barrett. Um, he's a tank. He can take a lot of hits. Really great. Tifa. Um, I think for me, she was kind of like the weakest link out of all of them, honestly, but What's great about her, she's really quick. But you're going to be playing as all these characters. And you're going to have to switch in between them. Uh, because in your party, if everyone faints, then like uh, you lose. But when you lose, um, which you will lose in this game, um, Final Fantasy VII Remake um, is very forgiving. You're not having to start all the way back to the last checkpoint. Um, you can start back from the last battle um, that you lost, and uh, you can go from there. 
Um, things you really need to do with your party. You need to have items because sometimes you're not going to have MP to heal. Uh, so it's really great to have items, especially when your characters go down. You want to have the Phoenix down so you're able to revive them so you can stay in the game. Uh, what you also want to do is make sure you're leveling up your characters as you're going through the story. So um, leveling up characters just means doing a lot of battles. And when you level up, you get skill points that you can use to upgrade your character stats. Um, another thing that I'll also help you is getting materia. This will give your character more skills that they can use in battle. Also putting on accessories that will increase your character stats. Now, uh, the boss battles in these games are really good. Um, they are challenging, but to make them beatable, um, you can use summoning materia to summon a creature that can help you um, weaken the character. Weaken the bosses or outright defeat them, um, depending on what kind of boss it is. But make sure when you summon the creature, um, whatever character you use to summon it, sorry, there's a mosquito, uh, make sure that character doesn't faint. Because if that character faints, or um, your summoning um, is gone too. And you don't want that. You want your summoning to last as long as possible. So you can do as much damage to that boss. Another um, great item for you to have um, when you're battling um, certain bosses is hazardous material because that will poison them, weaken them. So uh, items are a very important thing to have in this game. Um, overall, I really enjoyed the game. I especially enjoyed the ending. Um, battling Sephiroth, the boss of all video game bosses, uh, really amazing. Uh, I loved um, this game. It was really good. Uh, I give this game a 10 out of 10. Um, I will play um, the Final Fantasy VII uh, Remake DLC Intermission. I will play that, and I'll have it up on my second channel, CD Gaming, which if you guys haven't seen, um, you should go to my second channel because um, that channel is just um, video game playthroughs. That's all it is. Um, so if you want to see that, um, definitely go check it out. I have Metroid Dread up there. Um, what else? I have Final Fantasy VII Remake, all my playthroughs uh, up there. So you definitely uh, should check it out. Um, Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core is supposed to be coming out next month. And uh, I think with that game, it's going to go into the backstory of uh, Shinra, Sephiroth, and Cloud, and the tension um, between um, those characters. Uh, when you're playing Final Fantasy VII Remake, you know, you learn that Cloud used to work for Shinra. And so I think Crisis Core is going to be set before um, Final Fantasy VII Remake, and then we're going to get the backstory of Shinra, Cloud, and Sephiroth. So I definitely look forward to playing that. Guys, this is this was a really great game. Final Fantasy VII Remake gets a solid 10 out of 10 for me. Um, I really enjoyed playing this game. If you haven't played it, I definitely recommend um, picking it up. It's definitely worth playing. So. That's all we have for today. If you liked what I had to share, please hit the like button, hit subscribe, share this video with all your friends, and all of you, have a great day.